Hey guys, welcome back. It's Yara from Y Zurich, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to do some simple decor items from items that you have laying around the house. And one of them is my absolute favorite, which is my take on fresh flowers. Stick around, let's roll with the video. Hey guys, it's Yara from Wise Zurich. Thank you so much for being here again. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching my videos and liking and subscribing and commenting. So thank you for all of that from the bottom of my heart. If this is your first time here, welcome. And I hope that you like my content. I hope that you like what I'm providing you with and please subscribe, like and comment below. And please watch my videos all the way through so that way you guys can get the entire experience. Also, Please be safe out there. Don't go out if you don't have to because it is very risky. So if you don't have to go out, please stay home. And it's not only for your health, but also the health of those around you. I am super excited about today's video. Oh my God. I created this project, like these two little projects that I did around the house with things I had laying around and they turned out amazing. I was not even certain enough to how they were going to turn out because I've never really done them before, but one of them is my absolute favorite, I think. Like, it looks so cool and like it's given me so many ideas on how to implement it and hopefully you guys can use it as well. Thank you again. Please subscribe, please watch my videos all the way through and comment and like my videos. So thank you, please be safe again. And, oh, my hair is giving you some real curliness, realness today, but, well, oh well. Let's roll with the first DIY. <laughs> For this first DIY, I'm using some yarn, some cardboard, and some straws. I started by tracing a circle using the lid of a candle as my guide. For the middle circle, I'm actually using a quarter just because I need to create a smaller hole in the middle. Pretty much, I'm turning this into a donut. You actually need just one, and then once you cut it, you can create the other one. Here, I'm just tracing a V for an actual opening that we will cut out. Once you cut out your circles, you're left with these little C shapes. I'd like to point out that for this project, I'm going to be making pom-poms. This is the easiest way I know how to make them. If you have a different method, feel free to use it. But for this method, I'm using just the way I learned it in school. And I'm also using two color yarns because I like the contrast. What I'm doing here is wrapping the yarn around these two circles. Just make sure it's not too tight because we are going to be using these little scissors to cut through the center of both circles. I find it easier to just press it down while I'm cutting because it keeps the yarn in place. Now here comes the tricky part. This is where you actually get a separate string of yarn and then you will run this yarn through the middle of the two circles and then when you get to the end you're gonna tie a little loop and make it as tight as you possibly can because this will keep your pom-pom in place. Once you tied up your pom-pom you can take it out of the two circles and now it's time for a little haircut. Fluff off your pom pom and let's move on to creating the stem. I'm actually using a straw, glue gun, and some embroidery floss. It's super easy. All I'm doing is wrapping the embroidery floss around the straw by gluing the ends. Once I'm done, I'm actually going to just glue the straw to the actual pom pom or our new flower. I ended up repeating the process with different colors just to create more flowers, and here's a little time lapse. Just creating some more stems, and here are our beautiful flowers. I love the way these flowers turned out. They were amazing. They were beautiful. There are so many ways you can implement it. Imagine making a floral arrangement with just these flowers for a kid's room, or it's very whimsical, very like Dr. Seuss-esque. With that, let's roll with the second DIY. For this second project, I'm actually using some air dry clay, an X-Acto knife, some Mod Podge, water, some acrylic paint, and brushes, and also just a surface to roll my clay out. 
I'm using a rolling pin just to roll out the clay and also the lid of a candle to cut out the circle. I ended up cutting out 4 circles and now I'm just applying some water to the top to smooth out the surface. After letting them dry for over 48 hours, this is what my little circles look like. I ended up not using acrylic paint and instead I'm just using my brush pens. These are by Arteza and these are watercolor pens. They looked really pretty against the clay and I love the colors. I will link these in the description box. I'm not following a specific pattern or anything. This is just a very organic type of way for me to paint and I just thought they looked really pretty. I decided to choose these colors because they reminded me of spring and here's a little time lapse of me just finishing the discs. I actually did this off camera but I ended up just going back to paint the borders of every disc with my gold acrylic paint just because I thought it would give it a nicer touch and for the top instead of using my Mod Podge which I originally intended I ended up just using the Krylon UV archival spray just to protect the paint and to just give it that nicer glossy finish. And this is what they look like. Oh my god, they turned out so stinking cute. These are just little coasters that I'm going to use around the house. They are a great way to give somebody a present if you want to give somebody a little housewarming present. It's super affordable and they are customizable to anything you want to make them like. Hey guys, well, that was the end of my second DIY and the two projects for this video. I hope that you guys loved them and enjoyed them just as much as I did making them. If you come up with any ideas or if you make any of your own, please tag them on Instagram so I can see them. It is made with Yara, that's M-A-D-E with Yara on Instagram. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you like the content that I'm providing you with. And with that, Please be safe out there, take care of yourself and take care of those around you. Don't forget the journey as what brings us happiness and not the destination. Love you all. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Subscribe, like and comment. See you on the next one. Bye. Mwah.